hello, everybody. Ow. And indeed, Moo. There is a... Okay, so, welcome back to Avatar Perfect Imbalance. So, previously on Avatar, we continued running from the Fire Nation, and to get the heck out of the Fire Nation, we decided to go to a port town, build our own boat, which was basically just a glorified raft, and get sailing. And we decided we'd get from the Fire Nation to the Western Air Temple uh, sort of area. Since it's not precisely the Air Temple, but it's, it's sort of the area, whatever. The continentoid thing it's on. And... Uh, we do that by island hopping from one tiny island to another, and along the path is Tanawe's home in Tarasu. We haven't gotten there yet. Part of the reason for that is Meta, because Dally was not here, but she is now! Sawi! Nothing to be sawi for. We're just happy to have you back. And... Ooh. The other part of the reason is because while uh, on the ocean, you all were attacked by a ship made out of mostly glass. And on that ship was a giant armored... Uh, ooh, Smarty's blarging awake. Sweet. He'll be in shortly. And on that ship was an eight-foot-tall suit of armor which insulted you repeatedly, and really? eventually... To be fair, we started it. Yes. Fire, fire middle fingers. Yes, fire middle fingers. And when you landed on an island which was sort of shared by Western Air Temple uh, uh, rejects uh, and Fire Nation... Uh, well, just Fire Nation outsiders... Uh, you rested on that island until the ship arrived again and shot three bombs and the armor at you. You Trauma. were attacked. Sorry. Trauma. Trauma. You were attacked by the armor and eventually managed to pull it open, revealing that it was mostly full of dirt and the only thing human inside was a small girl of about 12 years old with milky eyes. She then proceeded to bend metal. That's not supposed to be possible. And after that, well, you managed to fight her enough that she fucked off, and the boat itself fucked off as well. But, uh... That is something you'll need to worry about. And uh, not unreasonably, the uh, Sonam, the leader of the Air Nomads, wants you off her island. So, that's all that happened previously on Avatar. Just that. I mean, unless there's anything else anyone remembers. Drama! So, unless... Um. Uh, uh, unless, uh, I don't think you want to time skip just yet so as it is right now you're all still on the beach recuperating from the attack um, Hero is sticking pretty close to Kiyahi because he wants to comfort her Kiyahi is doing whatever she can to cause little movement Digits is sitting on your head stroking your hair Oh, sweet sweet little Digits um <clears throat> um Let's see. Um, oh, uh, by the way, um, just FYI, uh, Hero is gonna. Um, Eli told me that the burn on his cheek is gonna scar. So yep. yeah, that's. Uh, so yeah, that's a mark that's there and is gonna stay there. Scars are cool, man. Yeah, but Hero, being the whiny rich kid he is, is gonna be like my face. Would you like words? Because Tanoe can have words. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Tanoe has he, so many words that I don't know where to start. 
Um, he isn't saying anything about his scar yet because he doesn't want Kiahi to be upset, but so like he knows better there at least. But yeah, he'll definitely bring it up. Anyways, um, so yeah, he's just sitting next to Kiahi and like kind of offering, you know, any comfort he can, like any hugs, any hand holding. I believe she did take his hand, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Now, would Tanawe like to chew everyone out? Um, partly because I'm still typing and partly because I really don't know where to start. Tanawe, <laughs> can I say that Tanawe was off trying to keep the um, islanders kind of out of harm's way while all this shit was going down? That's fair. Like, possibly, basically, picked up Katsuro, thrust him at Shiro, said, okay, you take the baby somewhere safe, I'm going to go and... Okay, all you air nomads, all you Fire Nation types, come with me, away from... No, don't look, it. don't, just don't look. It just, it just encourages them. Come on, on we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Anything in particular anyone else wants to be doing? Yeah, like I said, um, Hero's just making sure yeah, he's okay, because, I All mean, right. he's still pretty sore himself, but he's just like, yeah, I'm a manly man, I can handle it, because he's a dumbass. Sonam has walked away and eventually comes back with um, sort of a mortar and pestle, and she dips her fingers into the bowl, and you can see that there's some sort of herb mix in there. And she runs it over the burn on your face, and it hurts, but then it very quickly goes cool. And she says, hmm, if a waterbender had gotten to it quicker, it might have been prevented from scarring, but oh well. What? You're going to scar. I'm gonna scar? Yes. I can't scar. My face is too pretty for scars. I believe your skin would disagree with you. <laughs> um, Hero just looks utterly aghast and has a hand on his face. Like, just, he is completely horrified. I, uh, uh. Get used to a new facial feature, Lumpy. That's not my name! Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Hero. Mm-hmm. Well, whatever your name is. Uh, she uh, sighs weakly and says, Whatever your name is, you have a hard road ahead of you. And I got a scar. That's not what I mean, you vapid nitwit. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> um, he goes, I, I, that's not what I thought, thought you meant, but, but I'm still sad about it. I'm sorry. Um, Hero notices Hiahi signaling and he freezes. Like, realizing that he's just unintentionally guilted the shit out of her. And he, he goes, oh, uh, Kiahi, h hey, it, Kiahi, it's not your fault. It was my fault. I, I shouldn't have touched you. Can't Kiahi? quite hear you, Andrea. Damn it. Can't do emotional moments. <laughs> I know the feel. Mm. Yeah, it's it's okay. You didn't mean to. Um, I, I, um, um. Like I said, it was it was my fault. I I shouldn't have touched you. Um. I, I should have known better. Uh, Sonam sighs, sits down, and pulls her hair back. And uh, you can see her hair is actually quite a bit shorter than the average air nomad. 
like oh, bad woman, like rather than reaching down to her central back the way that, uh, or or past her shoulders at least the way that um, Yang Chen, the most recent respected female air nomad avatars did, or rather mm -hmm. than it, it's just even though it keeps the uh, forehead and top of the head shaved, it's still unusually short. And uh, she touches the tips of her hair, which hang down just barely past her ears, and says, Scars may be forever. If you scar a tree, it'll last forever. And it won't change places. But the tree gets bigger around it. The scar is never gone. The scar is never different, but you're different in spite of it. Hero is like, his hand is still on his cheek and he looks very much at a loss, but he is He's not going to say anything else because he knows that Kia, he feels bad. Um, can Tanawe return at this point? Yeah, she may. Um, she returns in time to hear Sonam say this and uh, she appears uh, next to Sonam and says, She knows what she's talking about. Of course I do. I don't want a scar. Nobody wants a scar. No, he shrinks away a little bit. Hey, no, look, hey, look, hero, and um, uh, to um, to now way, uh, actually, um, moves her poncho aside and pulls up her shirt enough to show uh the scar on her abdomen. Look at it this way. At least we match. Um, look at it this way. We match now. But but people see my face all the time. Yours is covered by your shirt. She, um, she lowers her shirt slowly. What I mean is, sometimes you get a scar as a result of a... She glances... She, she actually wasn't there to see how it happened as a result of a difficult situation, but Sonam is right, you can become stronger for it. Well, I didn't... That is true, but that's not necessarily how it has to go. No, it, but... In a way, it'll always hurt, if not physically, then just when you look in the mirror and see the person you could have been. Sona? You might need to mourn for that person. But if you don't let them go, stapling the leaves to the trees won't stop them from falling off in the autumn. Um, it won't stop them from turning red or from rotting away. Tanali looks Sonam up and down, then puts a hand on her shoulder. Sonam it flinches slightly. Uh, at the flinch, Tanali gently backs off. Ah, sorry. No, I should have asked. You seem to be a very wise young woman, Sonam. I've seen many things, and there is a reason I'm the one in charge here. It's not a reason I would have chosen, it's not a reason I'd like, and it's frankly not a good reason. There's a reason. And part of that reason is, she gets up and cracks her back, the fact that I'm willing to be a thoroughly unpleasant person on occasion. Time for us to go? No, I'll let you rest the rest of the day, but you do need to leave at sundown. Oh, but Smarty says, uh, uh, Smarty's still having trouble with his mic, but he says scars can show age, experience, and sometimes wisdom, and he shall continue fiddling with the cable. Also, Hero's not removing his hand. He doesn't want Tanawe to see the scar. Um, Tanawe now self-consciously has a hand on 
I mean, her, her shirt and poncho are back in place, but she's got her hand over her belly. And she's looking a tiny bit self-conscious. <sighs> Scars sometimes just force us to grow as people. Whether they should have happened or not. Sometimes they make us grow too fast. She looks at her and she seems... She doesn't necessarily know exactly what Sonam is talking about, but she understands the sentiment very deeply. Yes. Yes, they do. Hero, you'll be fine. Oh. And Avatar, if you ever visit the Central Air Temple... Maybe he's not there anymore. Hmm? Who? She she has a look on her face and says, Well, if uh, air nomads can be hard to tell apart, especially the shaved ones, never mind. Uh, Listen, I have a friend who might be at the Central Air Temple who's an airbender herself. Nima. She might know. Uh, give me one second to pull up a site. To... I need to think of a name. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sorry. Names are always the last thing with characters. Honestly. The one up there? Are you okay, Bucky? Yeah, I just was sitting uncom- in an uncomfortable position, and I didn't realize it was uncomfortable until I got out of it, and my body went, ow. See, it kind of varies with me. Sometimes the name is the first thing I think of. If, uh, if, if you have a friend there, and it, if, just tell her to stay away from Norbu. Norbu? What did he do? Did he hurt you because... Not, not all scars are visible. Tanawi is very subtly cracking her fist together. Has he disrespected you in some way? I can amend that. You would do well to stay away from him. Y- you say that. Y- y- you are all just piquing my interest well. now. Stay away from him. Sorry? All women would do well to stay away from him. She just looks very, very... She's got a very, um... She looks angry, basically. The more, Hero the looks more, confused. The, the more you say, Sonam the more I would really like to set this person on fire. I shouldn't have mentioned him. No, you should have. Now we're forewarned. That is for the best. If it would now make... we can set him on fire? If it would make you feel better, Sonam, I will not deliberately seek him out to set him on fire, but if he happens to come across my field of vision and happens to deserve it. And if I happen to firebend in his general direction and he happens to not move out of the way fast enough. She just uh, gives you a very long look and says, if that happens, then I hope it goes well. Tanoe looks like she wants to say more, but is very much like, well, this is getting into feelings territory, and I don't know this girl very well. <laughs> Fair. So she kind of opens and closes her mouth a few times, and then looks at the others. So, what exactly... And she just kind of points at where the ship is retreating. Um, 
hero says, I don't fucking know. They want, Language. they want me. But they don't um, know about Yura, so that's, I mean. It's not ideal, but. She stops herself because she's aware that Sonam is still there. Sonam has walked off. Though. Thank God. Okay. She 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 stops herself, looks around to make sure that Sodom is gone, and then continues. <clears throat> yes. At least they don't know about Yura. Mm. <clears throat> um. By the way, uh, when she said language, um, Hero was like, "Huh." Oh. Duh. Sorry, habit. I I'm trying to set a good example for Katsuro, but he's not here right now, so. Mm. I'm going to go and see um, him and Shiro, make sure they're all right. I just wanted to make sure you all survived, basically. Y you all look to be alive. We are all mostly alive. Hey, Smarty, um, you're audible. Uh... Um, Shiro begins pouting again. Uh, there is a really weird thing that happened that none of you are mentioning, but... Uh... We're all fine, it just seems that our... The, the avatar oh, yes. decided oh, to yes. pick a fight with a blind girl. Um, was that in character? Yes. I didn't know she was blind. To be fair, nobody did. I'm sorry. Until I saw her eyes. I'm sorry, who's blind? What? Uh, uh, the, um... Oh. The, the person on the boat is, is. Uh, apparently the avatar is being chased by a small blind girl and subsequently got his butt kicked by a small blind girl. I did not. You, you kind of did. I did not. She cheated. She cheated? How? She, ha, she bent metal. She, she what? Yeah, I was... She be, she bent metal. No, that's not that's not possible. No one's ever bent metal. I, I saw it, Tanabe. In fact, did. I experienced it when she bent it around me as a makeshift cage. It was quite impressive. Spirit. I So never heard of such a thing. This must be a very powerful small child. Small in, blind child. In 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 any way, like even if she wasn't bending metal, like I I didn't get my butt kicked anyway. Um, cause, like she she ambushed me and then I got out and then I was I wasn't fighting her. I was trying to make the bombs go away. Wait a moment. This yeah, was a fire. Bombs this at this us. this small child who could bend metal. Was she the one? In the large metal suit of armor. She was yeah. the one in the armor, yes. That foul mouthed little brat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will have words for her. I know, oh. right? Fuck that kid. Hero. He's not around. G <sighs> That's evidented by the fact you're not in a metal cage. I meant Katsuro. Can, um, by the way, can Tanoi notice that Kiai's not doing so hot? Uh, that will depend on something that Andrea has to do for me. Oh, fuck. Are you sneaking off? <laughs> <laughs> Once per campaign. Oh my fucking god. Oswin! 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 Ah, uh, roll perception. You're having some trouble seeing her. Or at least finding her. I totally had my character sheet up the whole time. It's not loading now. I am the most prepared of all possible streamers. Ain't we, though? Yeah, okay. And, uh, well, Ellen, obviously you know where she's going. Special rock senses are tingling. Yep. Mm. 
No. No. Everything is being difficult. Okay. D20. Lily, I'm giving it to the defense, so you're not sure where she went. I got a 19. You do know that she snuck off to... Where did she sneak off to? My Skype is twitchy. Back to the hut they were in originally. Ah, yes. Back to the air temple on the island. She was winged. Um, so, Tanawe has a <laughs> water lily. Uh, so, Tanawe knows uh, knows that Kiahi has gone and kind of sees what direction she's gone in. Yep. But give me a moment. My Skype is frozen, so no, I'll be right back. That's fine. I'm, I'm not still typing. Nope. In the silence, um, Yura's, Yura's probably going to walk up uh, and look at... Um, Hero and go. Whoa! What happened to your face? <laughs> Good. What is that he's, on your face? He's, oh my he's god! Still, it's huge. Um, he's still covering. Jeez, his Jesus! Burn. No, no one's gonna want to kiss you now. <laughs> he's he's still covering his burn with his hand, so he's still hiding it. That's just making I'm it bad. worse because we can't see it. Well, uh, yeah, you, you, you just draw your attention to it, really. Um, hero starts crying. <laughs> Tanawe face palms. Hero, it, 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 it will get small. I, I can't even see it. It will get smaller. Scars don't stay that size. Hero is inconsolable. Hero, she's actually starting to get a bit agitated. Hero, I, I, it's, uh, what, how did it even, how did it even happen? Did you firebend yourself? No. Well, it wasn't me. Kiahi? It was an accident. She was she was really upset and screaming, and I tried to comfort her, and then she lashed out, and it was an accident. But... Wait, what happened? Why? Kiahi seems to have an adverse reaction to explosions. Oh dear, is she? Yeah, she. She she seems to have gone back to the temple. Is she all? She. Is she all right? I made her feel bad. I didn't mean to. Hero, you... Um, as the Avatar, you are going to get hurt. You know this, right? Mm. Well, at least you can still firebend. Not everyone gets to fire... Not, not everyone retains their bending ability after getting scarred, you know, right? He doesn't answer. She breathes out smoke through her nose. I'm going to go look at. I'm going to go see how Kiahi is doing. Okay. Uh, she's going to go to the hut, the temple. We lost him again. Ah, uh, poor Eli. Back, I I cut out on. Well, at least you can still firebend. And uh, and Tanawe has gone to the temple to look for Kiahi. So, uh, Ki where is Kiahi hanging out? She's going to uh, where they were before, and is basically just curled up in a corner with as many blankets as she could find. You see a lump of blankets in the corner. Uh, she's going to go and sit next to the lump of blankets, um, maybe a few feet away. And um, she she doesn't really want to tap Kiahi on the shoulder because it seems like getting in her personal space wouldn't be a great idea. But she is going to try and signal on the off chance that she can see her through the blankets. And she just signals Kiahi. She pokes her head out just a little bit. Then puts digits just on her head. And she signals having a hard time. You're coming back? No. 
what's coming back? Mm -hmm. You don't want them to, you don't, sorry, you don't want them to come back, do you? Mm -hmm. Tanawe just looks really worried. She moves uh, about half a foot closer and tentatively holds out her arms to see if Kiahi wants a hug. She just kind of leans in to the hug. She just holds her and just after a while just starts stroking her hair and just making shh noises. Obviously she can't hear the shh noises, but... They're just, just tapping out shh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, since Digits is translating and you know her you know, she her hands are, you know, occupied, um she says quietly, um We'll help you through this. I don't know what's going on, but you're not alone. I think it might be best if I tell the others what I saw. What you saw? Mm -hmm. All right. If you think that's best, then that's what we'll do. Do you want to do that now, or wait until you're feeling more up to it? I think I can do it now. All right. I think they're still out on the beach. And Tanawe is going to slowly get up and hold out a hand to help up Kiahi. She'll take her hand. And, uh, yeah, Tanawe is going to lead Kiahi back to the beach to the others. Hero's arm is getting sore from covering up his, his scar. I want to say that Yura is still saying deliberately unhelpful things. <laughs> but, I, but I can't actually think of anything particular that she'd be saying. Well, like, we, we can say that it happened... Um, you know, off screen while this scene was happening. Are you trying so to get your scar to go into your hand so it's not on your face anymore? I don't think that's how it works, Hero. Oh my god. <laughs> um, are you trying to scar bend? <laughs> <laughs> um, shit like that. And Hero is just curling up more and more and pouting more and more and trying not to cry more and more and failing. <laughs> so I guess do I just we... after, after after everyone doing such the kind of poignant kind of scars or you teach you about um, all this, you were just telling a story about this person who got a scar and then never dated anyone ever again because everyone thought oh they were <laughs> <laughs> I both <laughs> love and hate Yura so much. Worst sister Yura, ever. Yura is the Yura. best big sister ever. <laughs> She's not the big sister. They were born at the exact same time. That's true. There is no, no yes, neither one of them. Considering that Yuri is currently standing up and Hero is sitting down, that makes up the big sister. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane troll logic. Go I ahead. <laughs> Given the fact that he was just beaten up by a girl, that um, uh, also makes also me the big sister. Also, because he was beaten up by a blind girl. <laughs> I was not beat up! You were beaten up by a blind girl. No, I wasn't! She no. smacked me once, then encased me in that metal thing, and then I got out and... Uh, during all this arguing, Tanawe and Kiahi come back. It is so... Uh, I, I'm so relieved to know that even when I'm gone, you can still bicker amongst yourselves. <laughs> Hero sees Tanawe come back, points at Yura... And, and says, she's being mean to me! Uh, Guilty is charged. <laughs> Yura, be nice to your brother. Yeah, Yura. You're not my mom. <laughs> Hero. You're not my real mom. <laughs> You're not my real mom. <laughs> Hero. <laughs> Hero, please get over yourself. Look, all of you, uh, Kiahi needs to tell us something. Fine. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Nikon Silver will stand back. 
Mark is currently playerless and is being shepherded around by Actually, name. Actually, yes. no. Uh, Hunter is here. Just oh, he is? Maybe not here. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, he's in, well, he's in a call. I'm, I'm assuming that he's. Oh, I, 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 I don't have. I don't have. Um, the yeah. that. The window open. Yeah, I didn't have the window open, so I didn't realize he had arrived. He's here. He's just not here. Here. Text only. Ah. But what is Kiahi going to say? Tragic backstory. Can I talk? Yes. I think it's important that I tell you guys what I saw in my flashbacks. Um, okay. If, if you're up to it. I'm the first one. <laughs> If you're up to it and you have the right tab open. <laughs> um, while Andrea is looking, while Andrea is looking it up, uh, I would like to say that Tanalwe is looking around for Shiro and Katsuro. Like she looks a little bit distracted, like she'd like to go check on them, but she feels like she's needed here more at the moment, so she's not going anywhere just yet. Uh, they're not too far away. Okay. Uh, I found it. I remember a massive ex a massive fire blast in my face, burning over on my entire body, my ears imploding, and the sounds of me and another voice, another female voice screaming. The next, I remember holding a little girl in my arms. Then. I remember holding her over a fire so long that my arms felt like they were going to fall off. My voice saying, you want to protect her? Fine, protect her. Then I remember my uncle holding me, my face hurting, my ears ringing and buzzing. I can feel myself saying, how could she, how could she, how could she, but not being able to hear it. And then I see, saw a little girl's face, terrified, dirty, cheeks soaked with tears and chin soaked with bile, strange light as by the sun forming in front of her scrunched up forehead and tightly shut eyes. My heart is pounding. My firelight is in my hand. My blood is, is hot with anger. So no way stares halfway between shock and profound sadness. Hero listens to this and um, he gives Tanawe um, and you know everyone except for Kiahi and Mak, who wasn't paying attention while we were at Roku Island, an uncomfortable look. Um, Tanawe is going to catch his meaning. Yeah, he. What did the girl look like? Shall I PM you that, Andrea? Yes. Jury is is uh, advocating for Toph and Yahi to uh, team up to be bandits. The deaf bandit and the blind bandit. They will steal all the cabbage. <laughs> they just need to mute back there. Oh my god, they have the trio. The three wise monkeys who steal shit. <laughs> she, she had black hair and yellow eyes. And some burns on her skin. Her, her face was angular. Her face was what? Angular. angular. Hero takes a deep breath. Tanawe looks at Hiro and Ning and Lily and she, she, she looks at all the others and is just trying to see, trying to gauge if they're all coming to the same conclusion. I'm going to say yes, because I'm not, but Lily is. Fair enough. <laughs> um, 
she she eventually she's just going to does it 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 could just be a coincidence but that description the light in front of her forehead yeah it sounds like kamushi um I'd like everyone to roll insight, and with animal empathy, you'd get a bonus. Oh, I boy. don't believe I have it. I have animal empathy, but I don't know if it's... <gasps> Digits it's knows just... something! Uh, um, um, which is insight? I don't see it on my sheet. I think it's, um, um intuition. Intuition. Ah, yes, intuition. sorry. I think I might... Did I take... No, I took rider. Okay. Ow! Ah, uh, I will. Hero's vision is still foggy from his tears. Yes, uh, uh, Hero doesn't I, I, notice. Oh dear, uh, Tanawe is also... <laughs> Can I add bonus uh, aura, Eli? Uh, no, this aura is on your head. Okay, so I just get the bonus from animal empathy. It's not like it's gonna do much. Oh man, Digit's nose Kamushi. Uh, wow, these are garbage rolls. I got this. Yeah. Anyone above ten notices that digits is weird. Uh, Lily, we already knew that. You notice, Sorry. You <laughs> notice that digits. As soon as he heard that name, he perked right up, but he quickly tried to hide it. He's just looking at him. Um, hero. Um. Uh, I oh guess shit. He... Uh, Mock notices that as well. Hero doesn't notice, um, like, any of this. He doesn't notice him perking up or acting weird, but he is going to be checking if Digits is translating what they're saying about Kamushi. Uh, yes, Digits is doing so. Huh, interesting. You, you, you know who it was? Something you'd like to tell us, Digits. Um, Did Digits know something? Digits shrinks and just clings to the back of Kiahi's head. Kiahi, are you. Are you. sure you want to know? I don't know. If I could offer my insight on this, I. I believe, I believe that with the memories may come more pain, but part of what's causing you so much pain right now, I think, might be that you have these terrifying flashes and no context for them. You don't know what they mean. You don't know if they'll keep happening. Perhaps if we find out all there is to know and we can all be here with you as you learn the truth it will hurt a lot I think but once you know I think you may be, may be able to start working through it and we may be able to reunite you with someone who is important to you He looks at Tanawe and nods. Perhaps someone with more tact than me should actually tell her. Um, Hero scoots forward. Perhaps um, someone with more tact than Hero should tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Well, well, I was, th I was thinking you're in back. I mean, really. <laughs> Um, Hero shoots Tanawe a look and says, I can be tactful, still with his hand on his cheek. I mean, it's, it's Tanawe or Lily, really. <sighs> <sighs> tell me what to say, I'll do it, I'll, I'll Lily it, but I, I, I'm not reaching whatever conclusion this is. Okay, it's Marty, do you remember Kamushi? 
yeah, the, the kid that we almost kidnapped. And do you remember that she said she had a sister? I get it now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There was just that one middle dot that I wasn't connecting. Going all the way around it. I had that one, and I had that one. They were trying to meet in the middle, but there was nothing there to connect. Mm. I'm just gone for a bit. I need to figure out how to word this. Yeah, on the subject of tact, I think we um, we are um, team no charisma, possibly. Hero has charisma. I actually think what, what is the mm, Burn. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, he actually has a seven charm. Go figure. I am the most charming of all pos nah. <laughs> I can light things on fire. Yeah, I have a four in charm. Who needs charm when you have tea? Well, you cannot have a zero in, in this system. He does have a three in you know, Okay, you, know. you can, but it's heavily recommended against. You can't deceive, she can't intimidate, and yeah, she can't streetwise, but she can charm her way out of something. I'm cute and deaf, don't punch me. Yep. I can charm and bend my way out of a lot of things. Pea bender. Tear bender. Sass bender. Tea bender. Uh, I've forgotten how I was going to do this now. I had it planned out, and then we went off on that little tangent, and I forgot. Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> no, not right. Well, you see, Kiahi. <laughs> you see, human. Can't you be the best person to explain this, yes? Oh god. I'm just the first person explaining anything. Well, you see, humans can have types, too. <laughs> this human is fire type and flying type. And also trash type. This human is literal garbage. I, uh... Hey, I finally finished the thing. Okay, Eli, I have a link for you. Thank you. It only took me, what, two, three hours? I still really appreciate it. You said that this person is the one that we met on the island. Yeah, it's the little sparky, sparky boom girl. Yeah, she might be the reason your memory. She might be the one in your memories. She also may be related to you. At least, I don't know. The, the little girl. Wasn't, oh, sorry, go ahead. Wasn't the guy you were living with your uncle? Yeah. Because she, um, she asked us to look for her sister and her uncle. Have you found her yet? She glances at, oh, um, she glances at, um, uh, can hear Dave laughing next door. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, Tanoe glances at, uh, Kiahi and just kind of her eyes flicker upward to digits since Lily pointed out that he had a reaction to the name Kamushi. Kiahi, does the name Cho mean anything to you? 
and sh she is specifically looking at her and digits for a reaction. Digits flinches. I don't think so. Um, Kamushi is a girl about twelve, I think, that we met on Roku Island before we before we met you. She, um, she's a combustion bender. Do you know what that is? No, but I'm going to explain. And blah, 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 blah. Oh. I'm going to assume that's why she had the film in front of her face. Yeah, she bends fire with her mind and causes explosions or combustion yes mm. her mother was um is a very cruel person When we met Kamushi, she was covered in burns, and only some of them were self-inflicted. A lot of them came from her mother. Training, I think, was the excuse, but there's no excuse for it. How come you guys didn't kidnap her? Looking back, I'm actually not sure. That's a very good question. <laughs> At the time... Well, well, you see, her mother, her mother is the leader of the Empire of Balance. We worried that if we took Kimushi that Hutaru would come bearing down on us. And that was... I guess we don't have to worry as much about that now. No, cause... since about everyone in the world knows that you're the Avatar, again, at least I don't know about Yora, but... You know what? I, I, I am starting to think we should march right back to Roku Island and just kidnap Kamushi. I mean, that seems to be what we do now. She just gestures frantically at um, Shiro, Katsuro, Iro, and uh, Hideyoshi. Uh, you can see Iro in the background uh, wearing only his pants and hanging up uh, the Air Nomad Iroh's outfit just... so dry. Iro's just getting dressed in the background. I, I, would, like to, oh, I would like to imagine Shiro... that, when, that when Tanawe gestures to him, he just waves. Yeah. Hiro, he's Hiro, got one hand pulling his pants up and the other one waving. Hero blushes while well, the half of his face you can't see. Um, and he goes, In my defense, my dad came with us willingly. I realize this, but I'll be honest with you. When I first set out with you, I really didn't realize we'd be collecting people. I mean, it's not like I planned it. I don't think any of us did, Hero. But the point oh, is... Kind of Sorry. I didn't plan to kidnap Katsuro or Shiro either. That just happened. That'd be kind of weird if you planned it. Usually kidnappings are planned. So anyway, um... It's more accidental kidnapping, but that's besides the point. It sounds like Kamushi's situation is even worse than we thought. Kiahi said that she was forced to hold her over a fire to <sighs> I at Kiyahi Kimushi told us that she had a sister named Cho who who ran away left because <sighs> she couldn't She couldn't take it anymore, I think. Hutari was merciless. So Cho got away. And we're not sure, but we think that Cho found her way to the Mother of Faces and was given a new face. Your face.
Kiahi, we believe you are the sister of Kimushi and the daughter of Hotaru, leader of the Empire of Balance. Do you uh, need... What, what? Smarty. Get out! Bet Joe didn't see that coming. <laughs> Yeah, he just kind of stares there for a moment. That actually kind of makes a lot of sense. Well, you didn't collapse, so that's something. Yeah. That's a lot to take in. It is. Do you need to... Actually, is she sitting or standing right now? She's standing, but she's kind of slowly moving towards the ground. Yeah, she was going to say, do you, need to, do you need to sit down? Yeah, yeah, you need to sit down. Okay. I think I should have sat down first. Mm, yes. What do you know? I... What do we do now? Where do we go from here? We gotta find some place safe for for or for my dad and the fire um Iro and um We gotta find a safe place for them. Is Interasu safe? I certainly think so. It was last time I was there. Interasu doesn't do a lot of interacting with the outside world. We would occasionally get travellers there. My people are... Their, their, their reactions to, uh, to the outside, particularly the Fire Nation, vary. Going uh, from mild distrust to apathy to outright dislike we we have a complicated nation with our sister country relationship I guess there's I guess there's two questions which is um, would would anyone we leave there be safe from people who come after after them and would they be safe from the sub warriors themselves? I mean, you know. Um, My family, at the very least, would protect them. I, you know, Hero's dad is an, an aristocrat, and Iro is the ex fire lord. You know, those are as far significant. As... As far as my family is concerned, titles don't matter quite so much as what the person is like on the inside. I obviously can't speak for everyone in my culture. Honestly, I think the best way to go about it would be to go there and ask, talk to the Council of Elders, see what they can do. If they're not welcome, they simply won't be allowed to stay there. I do not believe they would be attacked. Right, um, maybe, well, we have that ship chasing after us, or at least, I don't know if they still will be. Um, is there, maybe we could, just to be extra safe, we could do something to make sure they come after us, and don't try to follow our foot, um, footsteps. I would appreciate, there. I would appreciate not leading anyone to Interasu's doorstep. I have complete faith in my people's ability to defend themselves, but I would really rather it not come to that. I do not want to... I have been away from home for three years. I do not want to bring trouble with me when I return. All right. Uh... But how would we make sure that they followed us and didn't go to Interasu? I don't know, make a lot of noise somewhere else and then hang out there for a while to lure them? I mean, could we... I mean, are there any boats here that we could borrow to take um, people um, to? You hear a very loud sigh. Oh my God. Is it Sona? And 
yeah, you see Sonam sitting nearby on a flying bison. So how long have you been? Th- Whoa. Have you ever done something that you just know you're going to regret? Frequently. No. no. She, just looks, she just looks at those I two. Have no regrets. No regrets. Just, she yeah. she, she that, looks at those two indignantly. That is not surprising to me. <laughs> but... Do you all have somewhere you'd like to go before continuing on in your dinghy? There is somewhere we would like to go untracked. Uh I can fly above the clouds. You would do that for us? Against my better judgment. It must be. We are deeply annoying. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's objectively true. But... If we disappear here, wouldn't they just search everywhere? No, no. Right. I think the plan is that we don't We don't disappear. The... Um... The Fire Lord and Hero's dad and possibly Donalway's family disappear. Uh, we go and, I think, set fire to, um, I don't know, a Fire Everything. Nation port, an Earth, an Earth Kingdom vessel here and there. You know, keep, our, keep the eyes on us. <laughs> Anyone following follows us and not the Sky Bison, which is only taking some of us somewhere else. That does make sense. If we are taking anyone to Interasu, though, it would be best if a Sun Warrior were accompanying them. On a metal level, I am not letting you assholes split the party. <laughs> Could we perhaps take the Sky Bison to Interasu and then return here afterwards to continue by boat? That was my thinking. Which is why Tanawe said it. Yep. Why don't we take the Sky Bison and then get dropped off somewhere else and make another boat? That way we never leave the island. Is that in character? Yes. Mark says that. To Norway furrows her brow. The only because potential... People, people, might... people might trace us here. See our boat here and this is the last place we've been known to be. She smirks slightly. I, I believe that uh, the Fire Nation has learned its lesson about attacking air nomads in the past. <laughs> Hero grins. We could just set our ship off to sea. Uh, that's, yeah. that's true. Nick points at the uh, Sky Bison. Can they carry us all? I, we're a lot of people. She musses the Sky Bison's fur and says... And this is a lot of bison. bison Even Mara? That is a fair point. Um, Hero gestures with his free hand at Maro. The bison looks at Maro and uh, she looks over them and says, We might need to take two. <laughs> Tanawi's going to go over and uh, stand in front of the, uh, the sky bison and sort of hold out her hand for it to sniff. It sniffs, and then with a, a tongue half as big as you are, licks you. Just licks your entire body. Tanoe yeah. actually giggles like a little girl, then uh, rushes off to get Katsuro and Shiro. Mm. Aww. Yeah, he does the exact thing, same thing that uh, Tanoe just did. <laughs> this guy Bison likes you. Hero would, but he's like, ew. Katsuro, would you like to come and meet Thanks. the Sky Bison? Katsuro's eyes go wide and says, I've only seen them in circuses. Uh, uh she, she immediately looks, oh god, no. Don't You don't put Sky Bison in circuses, but she's not going to go into that right now. Um, she kind of turns her back and gestures for Shiro to put Katsuro on her back for a piggyback. Katsuro happily does so, 
And Shiro signs thank you back uh, at him. Um, oh, sorry, wait. No. Uh, Shiro puts Katsuro, whatever. <laughs> Shiro puts Katsuro on Tanawe. You know what I was trying to word. <laughs> yes. Um, Tanawe kisses Shiro on the cheek and then runs back to the Sky Bison with, with Katsuro. Katsuro reaches up eh, and does the little kid thing where he's kind of grabbing at it. Oh, careful. And the Sky Bison just... Now, Katsuro, uh, when you first meet someone, whether it's a person or an animal, you need to make sure that they're okay with being touched. So first, you need to, well, with a Sky Bison, you need, they, 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 um, they're very good at smelling. So let him smell you and see if you smell friendly, all right? Just hold out your hand like this. Her, uh, uh, Sonam says. Oh, I, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Her, hold out your hand for her like this. And, uh, Katsuro holds out his hand and the Sky Bison sniffs, then tentatively licks, and uh, Katsuro giggles. Um, Tanawi is going to very gently pet the Sky Bison. Her name's Treya. That's a pretty name. She reminds me a bit of my old Dragoir when I was younger. I know where Interasu is. I've never visited. I never particularly thought I'd be wanted there, but I can get you there. It depends, you know. Usually, if the travelers we receive there are open to our culture and willing to work and um, uh, take part in our traditions, they are usually fairly welcome. She smiles. Fire and air will always be siblings. <laughs> Hi. Yes, Hero. Except for you. <laughs> Except for what? you, especially. Ah. Not you. What? But I, I bend both. Yes, that's objectively true, but I'm an asshole and I don't like you. Well, you should. Well, at least airbenders are honest. At least this airbender is honest. You, you can't expect that of everyone. M she Mark, will, Mark will pat Hiro on the shoulder. I've been cold worse. And meanwhile, Kiahi has run to give Hiro a hug, and Hiro looks surprised and hugs her back. Oh. Hmm. Which means he's taking his hand off his scar. Ha ha! Ha ha! Um, That's your game. And it's actually just a tiny little thing that you can bash. Oh it is. It's, it's, oh it is. Oh. It's like Yura still goes, Oh my god, it's so oh, it <laughs> A movie. I don't remember what it was, but there was a movie where a guy gets air quote shot, and he's like, "Oh my god, I'm mortally wounded!" And they like, like rip off his shirt, and he's been grazed by the bullet, and he hasn't seen the wound yet. And the guy goes, "Oh my god, you're right. You might have to amputate. Quick, give me the saw." <laughs> I'm just thinking of that one episode with Sugoi and. Uh... Steven Universe, where Steven gets the cut and it's just tiny. Mm -hmm. um, it's tiny. just, it's not unnoticeable, but it is just sort of a moon cut between his cheekbone and his uh, lip. So yeah. now he looks like a badass. Yeah, it's it's basically, Eli, you described it as a line from the corner oh, right. of his mouth to his cheekbone. Right, more like that. Um, Sorry, my bad. So, so yes, you see... Um, those who have not seen the scar yet see that this is what Hero was being so upset and fussy about. Fortunately, Tanoi has not noticed this because she's preoccupied with Babby and Bison. You are going to get such shit when she does, though. <laughs> <laughs> when Yura is so making shit. fun of Hero, Kiyaki turns around and is like, I can give you a matching one. Oh, <laughs> burn. Hero looks surprised. Oh, man. I uh, actually, uh, I uh, digits just goes. Uh, I don't know precisely what kind of body language it is, but digits just make sort of an O oh motion. <laughs> like his just, hands over oh, his mouth, shit. like, oh. Yep. Oh, no, you did. <laughs> actually, I know exactly what, uh, what happens. Digit snaps three times. Z oh my snaps. gosh! 
Yep. Now digits is the sass bender. <laughs> um. But um, yeah, he hero initially looks sheepish when Yura says that, but then he looks surprised by Kiahi's reply, and he's like, "Okay." Uh, Sonam says, "Let me go get to uh, um." Oh, who's the second most reliable? Oh, God. Yeah. Tenzin would be ideal. One moment. And she walks away. Sorry? I still think that we should either... Either we, we all go and we all come back here and set off, or um, a small <laughs> crew should take the boat and... Um, Meet at a at a and and meet at a at um on a different island somewhere if we're going to try and because if people have traced us here, the fewer kind of magical turning up in different places we make, that that will make the people who go to Interasu that much safer if they don't have if there's no connection between if there's no way for anyone to infer that anyone ever went to. Interasu, that makes everyone there that much safer. Sky bisons, sky bisons may leave a fur trail, but it will wash away on the water. Yes, but if we were last seen here and are next seen somewhere completely different without them seeing the the boat go somewhere, um, that's a good point. That that's that that's an, an argument. That's an argument for coming back here and leaving from here. That way people can just, that way anyone who happens to be tracking us can just infer that we stayed for a little while on the island before moving on. Well, I'm willing to work with whatever's the case. In the meantime, though, let me go get Tenzin. And she takes out her glider and flies away. And after a few moments, she comes back hero with point, a... Hero, hero points at the glider and he's like, that that's one of the things I want. No... Hero, show, <laughs> hero, wait, wait. hero, show some gratitude and humility. These people have already helped us a lot. Wait, uh, can I can I have Mark roll uh, something? Proficiency. Oh Thank you. I totally, I totally had my character sheet open. Mm -hmm. Hero <laughs> looked at the hallway and um, again, his scar is now visible now. And um, he goes, I am grateful. I'm just saying that sometime I'd like to get one of those. Tanawi is going to blink and go, oh god, it's hideous. And now there's a scar on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hero turns bright red. Seriously, he goes, Hero. I'm... Seriously, Hero, that's what you're worried about? Yeah, it's right on my face. It's Barely even there. If you were really worried, you could probably cover it up with makeup. It's it's a couple inches. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Calm down, guys! So, wait, okay, actually, if, when he says it's a couple inches, she just, look, she just raises an eyebrow and goes, that doesn't sound like anything to brag about. <laughs> he turns brighter red and he goes, you know what I meant! Hero. Ah. Uh, uh. Hero, when I received this scar, I lost my son, and for about a month, I also lost my firebending because my belief in everything that was real was so thoroughly shaken. When you complain about that tiny little hairline fracture on your face, it is starting to really aggravate me. <laughs> what would she say, Kiahi? Let's not, piss, not her off. piss her off. Oh. I understand that different experiences affect different people in different ways, but Hero, I really need you to stop acting like a spoiled brat who, is, who hasn't even conceived of the possibility of getting hurt when he is so fixated on being the avatar whose very purpose is to put themselves in harm's way for the good of the world. 
I need you to grow up a bit quicker than this. Um, before Hero gets a chance to respond, you hear a sort of loud mooing noise, and a sky bison a little smaller, but more brightly colored than, uh, uh, then uh, Sonam's comes up, uh, and it's ridden by a male airbender. Uh, Hero scowls a bit and looks away, but doesn't say anything. Fair enough. And uh, the airbender has very soft features and a bald head, uh, and sh and uh, you can roll observation to notice something, but it's not all that important. But, uh... I know it's not important, but I got a nat 20. Ooh, I will PM you briefly. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me just a moment. I, I like how the sky bisons moo instead of the, uh, the, 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 the way that they communicate in the show, which is basically, well, I always got a, I got a 19, a nat 19, so 28. I will be PMing you as well. Uh, what are they rolling for? I kind Just of feel to bad observation about... to notice something uh, about Tenzin. Oh. I kind of feel bad about wasting such great, great rolls on um, something that's apparently not all that important. Did I roll? Her shirt is misbuttoned. Sorry, his his shirt to. is misbuttoned. Shirt is on backwards. What a seven. Oh my god, was he with Iro? Oh! He was. We were having a threesome while we were fighting. Uh, let me just send out, uh... Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Nash. Uh... Okay, so that's, uh... Wow, everyone worked oh. well enough. Oh, Jesus. At 19! Alright, then, I'll just say it. Uh, Sonam is referring to Tenzin with male pronouns, but you can very clearly tell that Tenzin is, uh, female-bodied, uh, or, I guess that's how you'd think of it. Long story short, Tenzin is trans. Mm -hmm. oh. And he has a very high voice. Uh, and he says, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tenzin, and I'll be flying you to Interasu today. <laughs> Welcome to Air Nomad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I took it out. And it... Uh, he glances down at the. Uh, God damn it, Hunter! Okay, thank you for coming back. He glances at Morrow and says, Yeah, you should probably ride with Sonam. She likes animals better than people. Oh, she'd get on well with my mother. Possibly. I don't know. Eli, I'm making a quick addition. Etzil likes animals better than people. <laughs> it makes sense. And... It, it makes sense given her job. Uh, all of the humans could theoretically fit on one bison, but I guess all of you who like talking can come with me, and anyone who feels like shutting up for a few hours can go with Sonam. Yeah, he cr crimes on top of there. Climbs on top of Ma Maru. Yura goes to Sona. I was gonna say. Um, Hero looks at Kiahi and he goes, um, that's not a sky bison. Maro climbs uh, onto Sonam's bison. There we go. Um, he, uh, he then goes and climbs up onto Maro. Um, with Kiahi. Maro grumbles about having to carry two people and just lies down uh, on uh, uh, on the bison's back. Uh, and Sonam looks not super happy about having you on it, but doesn't complain. Um, he he looks at Sonam and he's like, Maro's my, um, Maro's my buddy. I'm not leaving him alone with anyone. I mean, with some people, but... Not when he's in, up in the air. He might be, he might get scared. She continues looking, but then sighs and says, 
Yeah, all right, whatever. That I, I can understand that. Yeah, he is scratching um, Mario behind the ear. Um, Hero is scratching Mario behind his other ear, and he goes, This isn't even his favorite spot, you know. Where's his favorite spot? His belly. But I don't think there's enough room for him to lay on his side right now. I'll, I'll show you a trick when we get back on land. Yeah, he rolls off and just rubs the side of his belly. Yeah, but you can't really get it when he's, when he's like, in this position. You have to have him on his side. But uh. like I said, I'll show you a trick when we get in la on land. Ah. Uh. You are all, unless there's anything else you want to do on the island, lifting off. I'm cool with that. Same. Uh, Tanawi is on whatever um, bison um, her fiancé and son are on. Mm -hmm. And Katsura just looks amazed by this. Shiro's ridden sky bisons before, but he's still clearly enjoying it. Um, she's kind of uh. going to cuddle Katsura close and go, You ever been up in the air before, buddy? He shakes his head. Oh, you're in for a treat. While all this was happening, is it okay if I asked, um... I totally forgot her name. The Seven. woman in charge. Um, if she has any spare cloth I can use. God. She doesn't Zonum ever want to speak to you again. Zonum stares at you and says... If you don't ride with Tenzin, I'll throw you into the ocean. It's <laughs> not what I asked. She, she slinks away. Oh, oh Andrea, sleepy. I'm not. Uh huh. Sure thing. I was wide awake. Oh, that reminds me. Um, sorry. Speaking of uh, uh, talking about Shira, reminded me. Um, Eli, I will PM you. What C can we retcon that? Um, Shiro and Tanawe sent the message to Hachi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because he he got the he got the messenger hawk last session, right? Yes. Cool. I will at some point. Um. Uh, PM you what Tanawe wrote. So, uh, son of a bitch. Sorry. Ah, dicking ass. Duh. Things are stupid. Very sorry about that. What's that? Ah, uh, just a bunch of dumbs. So, you guys are able to fly, and you get above the clouds, so it's kind of cold, but otherwise uneventful. Uh, um... Hero to Kiahi. Uh, it, it's it's kind of cold. <laughs> you um, you wanna um, huddle I'm for fine. warmth. You're objectively not near them. You're on Tenzin's. Yeah. But yeah, he, he. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, he just forms two balls of fire and is just holding it like, just kind of like over her body to keep herself warm. Hero looks a bit dejected, but says nothing. Those of you who fly on so Air Sona stay uh, mostly silent. And those of you who fly on Air Tenzin, Tenzin is actually surprisingly chatty, oh, cool. telling all kinds of stories about uh, growing up in the West. Air Temple. Oh, got a, got a bit of Zerg going on there. Western oh. Air Temple. Okay, testing, there we go. testing. Yeah, you're back now. And uh, eventually, when I'd say when it's becoming about dusk, unless there's anything you'd like to do well in the sky. Uh, I want to. Uh, I want to be cute with Katsuro. You. <laughs> well, yes, 
You're already doing that. Okay. I'd like to not fall off. Uh, yes, you are very easily able to not fall off. Uh, although uh, Tenzin does, Tenzin's a bit of a wilder flyer than, uh, uh than, uh, and, and the very conservative Sonam. I would like to say that she's just kind of um, holding on to, almost as if afraid she's going to lose them again, she's holding on to Katsuro and Shiro quite tightly. You... He never gets dangerous, but it's clear that he's playing around with you a little. Fair enough. She's not actively scared, this is just more of an instinctive thing. Hey, you doing okay there, son? Understandable. And she kind of um, looks at Katsuro. Hey, you doing okay there, Sunbeam? Katsuro looks up, at, is just looking at, down at the clouds and then up at the sky. Yeah. It's, it's really nice to be warm. Yeah, it is. She kisses him on the head. So, after a little bit, you land at dusk on Interasu, and are greeted by a number of sun warriors with a number of weapons, most of which are on fire. All right. It will be intimidating to anyone who isn't Tanawe who knows that this is mainly ceremonial. Tanawe um, leaps, basically, she, she will sort of squeeze uh, Shiro and Katsuro and then leap off the bison, maybe using firebending to kind of, um, you know, firebending from her feet to kind of slow her fall and then she she lands um on one knee straightens up and uh calls out sunshine on you brothers and sisters they uh, salute back to you and tenzin just has this very forced grin on his face and says so no burning cool cool great awesome excellent Okay, everybody off. Do we Mark. land at the same time? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he dives into the earth. To copy to Nawe and more than likely fail. Oh. Mock literally just steps off the bison. Oh, like, no. okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Um, it goes past the floor. Uh, as the soon floor. as Mac. As soon as Mark hits hits the ground, Tanawe just kind of glances at her, looks back at the Sun Warriors, and says, "The the, the newcomers are with me." Quack. Uh, unfortunately. Um, she is going to glance at both Tenzin and uh, Sonam. Uh, will you two be disembarking and joining us? Uh, anything that can handle sky bisons? I mean, Sona will probably stay near them. I, I was gonna. I feel like so. Tanawe. I hope... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I, I, I this mental image of, of her just going, uh, yip yip, and just flies off. <laughs> Gets the fuck out of there. T uh, presumably, they're going to, you know, stay and take us back. Did we decide to do that? I know, I know we had at least two people uh, in favor of that. Yeah, we, I think we did that. Okay. Um, Tanawe is going to grin, yeah. actually, and say, you haven't heard of the dragons of Interasu, I take it. Yes, we are equipped to handle... Uh, yes, we are equipped to handle large flying creatures. Hands in blinks and then says, No way! I thought that was just a rumor! Yeah, hero or, is... Or, or, like, legend or something. Yeah. As far as anyone outside the island is concerned, yes. Yes, it is. Hero has also brightened, and he's like, Dragons? Oh, dear. I've made him excited. What is this about dragons? you have excited the dumpster fire. Interrupt. What is this about secret, secret dragons that no one is allowed to know about? You're right. If you tell people, so help me. <laughs> You won't, right, you won't well, need it's, Kiyaki. It's more than the fact that you just oh. told the entire... You just told the entire Fire Nation. I I really didn't tell the entire Fire Nation. The, the entire Fire Nation yeah. is over there. 
Hello. <laughs> I will just it's wait. Just a, there's just one stray Fire Nation soldier that is just like, hello. Hello. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> I, I was thinking I will was just going to wave. <laughs> the entire Fire Nation is over there, I Um... Iroh is, in fact, actually wearing a very warm smile on his face. And he says, It's been far too long since I've been here. You've been here before? Once, when I was much younger. Probably. Much more hot blooded man. Those were the days. Mm. Well, they correct. were, but. Uh, Though you... I enjoyed them, I do not miss them. Mm. Well, perhaps there will be some here who remember you then. Perhaps. He it stretches himself out and says, I do hope that they do not hold too much against me, though I would understand if they did. There are a number of us who hold you in. High regard might be saying too much, but... We are relieved, let's say, that you had been taking the Fire Nation on a more peaceful course. We do not generally approve of the level of aggression that your progenitors brought upon the world. Mm. That said... That said, I... Well... The fact that... Uh, the Fire Nation is now under new leadership. Well, that's that's a different story, and one we, one the people here may not be aware of yet. Hmm. So, Tanawe, are you going to lead this ragtag bunch of misfits to your house? Oh boy. Um, first of all, I'd like to say, can Tanawe? Obviously, Shira already knows Tanawe's family, but can she have been sort of yeah. telling Katsuro about them? And yes, she very easily could have. It's like, you know, it's like, and, and my dad, you know, he, you know, your grandpa, he, he, he looks like he'll crush you if he hugs you, but he won't. He's very gentle, that kind of thing. Um, and what, what, what else? Yeah, she's going to um, identify a couple of sort of, um, of the of the crowd of sun warriors or the, the the collection of sun warriors who greeted them she's going to uh see if she can find a couple of um basically um uh animal wranglers you know the, and sort of ask if they can take care of the bison in you know like or possibly help sonam take care of the bison if if sonam is deciding to stay with them or what have you uh um, yeah, a few of them are willing to do so. Basically, taking the bison somewhere where they can rest and eat. That makes sense. Oops, sorry. Um, Hiro is going to be on Morrow, by the way. Okay. And, uh, you all go through town, and eventually you reach your old house, where, Tanawe, are you going to knock? Tanawe freezes outside the front door. Huh. She, um, she reaches out a hand and then drops it again. And she Hero actually, dismounts. She looks terrified. Um, walks, Hero dismounts, walks up next to Tanawe, and looks like he's going to knock. Uh, she just instinctively grabs his wrist. Uh, uh, Shira will knock. Shira! And uh, can I have my wrist back now? Tanawe uh, realizes that she's holding Hero's wrist. Let go, let's go, and then s backs away, and just very, um, s very subtly starts hiding behind Shiro. Uh, Katsuro is hiding behind your legs uh, and says, "I thought you said Granddad wasn't dangerous." No, they're and... not. They're, they're, I. Juana opens the door, and she... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 you go first. And she looks very much like Tanawe, especially in the face, 
but she's about 70 years old, uh, and uh, her uh, hair is uh, pulled back, uh, and she has a sort of a, a soft smile on her face. But when she sees uh, uh, Tanawe, uh, oh yes, her it's a dark her hair is a dark slate gray, and actually it's not pulled back; it's hanging down to her waist. And she has a red band going over her eyes, uh, painted on. And when she sees Tanawe, her face turns from a soft grin to her jaw going slack. Uh, and she puts a hand to her chest. Um, by the way, Eli, something I completely forgot to mention in the uh, document. Tanawe looks a bit different from how they remember her. She would have put on a bit more muscle and her hair is short. It was long when she last left them. Um, but uh, but she's obviously still recognizable. Um, she just stares and then she says, Sunbeam. And she pulls you into a tight hug. And yeah, Tanawe just goes from being shell shocked to just hugging the hell out of her. her, her and just, just, she hugs and goes, Nana, I'm sorry. And uh, you hear some thudding from inside. And a massive six foot four bear of a man, uh, as, along with uh, a short, uh, plump boat woman with very muscular legs uh, and a ponytail, come down, uh, both looking to be in their late forties, and they both join in the hug too. Uh, all of them kind of talking at once and over one another. Tanawe is doing this too. She's like, I missed you. I'm so sorry. I know I should have come back sooner. There was so much that happened, etc., etc., etc. And eventually Tanawe is going to pull back and sort of wipe the tears from her eyes and say, um, Nana, Ma, Pa, there's someone I would like you to meet. Katsuro? Katsuro peeks out from behind uh, uh, Tanawe's uh, legs. She gently lifts him up. Katsuro, uh -huh. this is your nana and your grandpa and your great grandma. Everyone, this is my son. He looks anxious. Uh, it's okay, but... baby. It's okay, sunbeam. And, uh, uh, Etzil takes him, smiles softly, and says, Finally, one for me to dote on. And Huana laughs out loud. <laughs> I, I know you would have liked to meet him sooner. I'm, I, you need to tell us everything, says I, Huana. I, I will. I, I promise I will. It, and I'm sorry I didn't sooner. I, I had my reasons. I, I don't. I, I know you did. I, I don't disbelieve that. I, I know, I, I know, and I'm sorry. I know you must have worried, and I, I missed you. I. And, and Shiro. Here. Shiro looks a bit different now, but it, it's still him. Shiro? And, uh, uh Yolan, Yolan is the way. How do you pronounce that? Um, I was thinking Yolan. Yolan looks around and says. You say he looks different. So which one is he? She and gestures. Shiro, Not just, it. Shiro lifts his hands and just weakly waves. And Yolan pulls him into a hug, too. <laughs> You're a jazz hands! Now, uh, unfortunately, my Skype is being a dick, so I will restart it, but this also gives me an opportunity to uh, take a small bio break. I will be back shortly. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting hella cramps, so uh, I need to go... Get some Advil? Um, get a bit of... Yeah, get some Advil. I'll be right back. Fair dues. How are the rest of you all reacting to all this? I funny. missed all of it because I realized I forgot to turn the crock pot off. Oh no! So uh, some of the chicken burnt. Oh no! Uh, I, I think it's adorable, but Mark has seen none of this as she's currently attempting to get someone to give her some, or sell her some cloth. Oh, or no. trade for cloth. That's what usually what she does. Oh no. So, is, um. Mm. So now is Father a bear like a teddy bear? 
Y- yes, uh, he- he's built like a bear. <laughs> but does he act like a teddy bear? He is kind of a teddy bear, yeah. He's like, well, he's he's very... He looks very intimidating. Like, he's got the long black hair. He's very broad. He's very muscular. It's like, you look like... he look, He's very tall. You do not want... He looks like someone you don't want to fuck with. But, you know, as soon as he's starting to hug Tanawe and Shiro and stuff, it's clear that, oh, yeah, he's 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 a big softie. Uh-huh. Dali, I have a question. Mm. Are there cabbages in this town? I'm going to go ahead and... Um, not for much longer. Hmm. I haven't mentioned there being cabbages. I I have said that their primary crops are, um, oh goodness me, uh, avocado beans and maize peppers. I think, because I I I have this thing where I like to you know you know how avatar animals are made up combinations of existing animals. I, yes. I, I like to do that with, with food as well, like with fruit and veg. Is there is there a potato? I don't know. Would there have been Potatoes and tomatoes? Ah uh, That's not bad actually. Maybe. Because Yahi during this might have snuck off to go and find cabbages. They look like tomatoes, but when you cut them open, they're bl- they're uh, a light tan on the inside, like a potato. Good. They're d- as disgusting as they sound. Good. <laughs> we, we we tried to grow potatoes for a while, and then we just realized, no, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Uh, no, we were just kind of talking about Interasu. Uh, uh, Andrea wants to know if there are cabbages here. I said I wasn't sure if there should be. All right, I'm okay with there not being cabbages. <laughs> Damn it. Um, you could steal Mark... other vegetables for a change, or, or you could not steal. Yeah. Mark, Mark is currently attempting to get to get someone to give her some cloth and or buy slash trade for it. Uh, I need you to roll the shawl. Oh, no. Sure. Oh no! Oh no! Also, do I sound far away? A bit, a little. All right, I'm sitting up and eating, so tell me if I can't get too unaudible. Okay. Fuck! No, you do not. <laughs> I'm trying to buy it if need be. Is anyone selling anything in this town? Um, um I was kind of thinking there might be a marketplace for that. You're not really yes, gonna get. Is. You're not really gonna get it randomly on the street. Yeah. Okay. Roll streetwise to find it, though. Okay. Yeah. Mark has just attempted to. Oh Jesus! Attempted to just. Uh, wait, wait, wait. When we flew in, hmm. um, did we see the town from above? Yes, you did. But a market wouldn't be super visible. Yeah, but it would be designed slightly differently. Not necessarily. A lot of the different places are designed slightly differently. The market doesn't look different from the town in any different way from how the residential district looks different from the farming district. Okay, fair enough. Twenty nine twenty. Oh no. But you're able to find it nonetheless. I knew I'd get a nat twenty eventually. Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, nah, just Mark's looking. For Mark's one. gonna get into trouble. I think this is my first net 20 this game, and it feels so good. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to see if I can't buy or trade for some cloth. <sighs> Tanawi is going to turn around to start basically introducing her family to... Uh, anyway, uh, we there's a, a lot else I need to tell you. I'm traveling with these people, and... Where did Mark go? <laughs> I don't. F- um, I don't know. Are we supposed to be watching her? I'd really rather she not go wandering off by herself. Uh. I'll go find her. I'd really yeah, rather. Reason... L- look, you're all new here, and I- I'd rather. And she just kind of looks torn because she's like, I want to stay with my family. I want to make sure they don't get in trouble. And she goes, okay, the rest of you stay here, introduce yourself to my family, behave, 
Shiro, make sure they behave. Um, she hands um, Katsuro to Shiro, and then um, she'll go with... Janelle, is it safe to tell people? You can tell my family. And she... Okay. And she will go with Lily to find Mark, and to make sure that Mark doesn't get herself in trouble. All right. So we're splitting the party, but we're all still in Interazzi, so that's okay, right? Yep. Uh, Good. We're Shall we focus? The party locally. Shall we focus on Team Meet the Family or Team Get the Mock first? <laughs> team Get the Mock. Okay. So, for Team Get the Mock, and, uh, I'll need you to roll either Streetwise or... Yeah, Streetwise. We'll try and figure out where the hell she went. Yay, that's one of my good skills. I got a 23. Okay. You follow the trail of annoyance to find it. Lily, you're not sure, but Tanawe, you're able to find it, follow the trail of annoyed people to find Mock hanging around in the marketplace. And whether or not you fought it is willing is whether or not you're willing to put up with the price I sent you. Oh, you sent me a price. Hmm? Yeah, fine. Mock, Mock, it, it will do that. All right, then you have what you were looking for. Cool. She's just making a thing in the middle, like in the front of this stall. No one is happy with this. <laughs> Mark, what, what, mm. what are you doing? Uh, she's currently like, like, like stretching some fabric over like this wooden frame. Mark, this is the marketplace. This isn't this isn't the place for making things. This is the place for buying and selling things. Can I, can I roll to see how quickly I make it? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. If you don't make it in the next five seconds, Tanawe is confiscating it. Twenty four. You've managed to get it. It's very complicated stuff. Uh, so it's I'll a very delicate instrument. You've managed, yes, to get it about half done. It's not the only delicate instrument around here. She will pick it up and then, I guess, follow you wherever you're going to take her, but she's going to continue trying to work on it as she's walking. Um, does this interfere with her ability to see where she's going? Probably. Uh, quite possibly. Okay, so basically, if she picks it up and is, like, ready to follow them back, and I was like... Damn it, Smarty. The marketplace. Oh, my God. Good. Um, Tanawe says, let's... You can work on it back at my family's house. You can... You can... Just, just come on. So I'll say that takes you all about five minutes. And meanwhile, at... Uh, Although, if, if, at any, if at any point Mark bumped into anything because she wasn't paying attention to where she's going... Then Tanawe confiscates it. Uh, yeah. She's probably going to just keep like Tanawe like in her peripherals and just keep going in that direction. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I think that's uh, us. Um, so, uh, back at team meet the parents. Uh, Shiro, out of starting to form habit, begins sort of. Uh, signing but then shakes his head and writes down I can't speak ask everyone to introduce themselves and uh, uh, Etzel it begins doing so but uh, Juana says well I need an introduction from most of these people but if my eyes don't deceive me I do recognize one of them Iro. I just realized that my uh, ear headphones have been unplugged for a while. Have you all been able to hear me? Yes. 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 And have I haven't talked over anyone, have I? Nope. Okay. And uh, Ira laughs and says, "Some disguise I'm putting on, huh?" And she says, "Well, you look more like your old self than you usually do." Friends, that is Fire Lord Iro, and he says, "Former Fire Lord, as the case is, it's a long story that I'm sure your daughter would tell better than me." 
Juana smirks and says, I met him when he was a terrible firebender back in the day. Now he's slightly less terrible. And uh, he rolls his eyes and smirks. The rest of you, I don't know, though. And Shiro, your dad, says, Oh, well, I... Sorry, Hero, Della. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hero, your dad says, Oh, well, um, I'm Hideyoshi Hoshin, and you may know me, because I am the owner of one of the... I believe that nowadays it's the third largest bank in the Fire Nation? Dad, they don't care. Uh, oh. Hideyoshi kind of deflates. I love you, Dad, but they don't care. It's true, they don't. <laughs> it's obvious they don't care. That that kind of thing doesn't mean anything around here, Dad. He deflates more. But if I'm not my status, then what good am I? I am Fluffy. Um, and Hero, Hero pauses for a moment, and then he goes, Not to mention, you don't exactly own the bank anymore. Oh, by the way, is someone translating for Akiahi since I don't think yeah, uh, they'll know signaling? Know. Yeah, um, after Hero finishes um, saying um, that to his dad, he goes, uh, and this is Kiahi. When you're, when you say that to your dad, it, he sort of swallows and then uh, steps over to the corner and uh, sort, or steps over to the door and sits out on the porch. Oh, dad, I'm sorry. And he, he runs after his dad. That's Hero. Uh, when you run after your dad, he says, no, no, head back in, kiddo, just head back in. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, dad. It's not that. Yo, hey, oh, you don't understand. I fought it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, I hate you. I hate you too. I really hate you. I hate you more. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just only something that, like, someone in my family just run out of the room, like, are they okay? Uh, I don't know, let me go check. You okay? No, you really need to go back inside. Why? Because I fought it. Oh, <laughs> God! Uh, and Ellen says that Ning will translate for Kiahi. Oh. Alright. Um, but, yeah, Hero's like, um, are, are you... Okay, if I go back inside, will you promise to talk to me about it later? Sure. Okay, Dad. He sounds upset. I'm worried. Me too, but Hiro wants to respect his wishes. That's fair. That's Hiro. That's Ning. This is Digits. Digits waves high. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing somebody. Uh, oh, Lily and Mark aren't there right now. And in about five minutes, unless there's anything else that you guys want to be discussed, because otherwise you're all just going to sit in semi-awkward, semi-silence. Um, <clears throat> well, Hero comes back in, and he's like, Sorry, uh, my dad's had a rough couple days. Ning will start meditating. Uh, you're, uh, your ball is less of a ball now and goes thunk, thrish, thunk, thrish, thunk, thrish, thunk instead of rolling. Um, but yeah, Hero tells them that his dad's had a rough couple of days. And uh, when Team Go After Mach gets back, you can see Hideyoshi sitting on the porch just sobbing into his hands. Uh. He, he, Hideyoshi? He looks up and looks thoroughly embarrassed, quickly wipes his face and says, Ah, ha, ha. <clears throat> please, ladies, go on. Go on in. Okay to cry. Ah. Uh, who's crying? I'm not crying. No, of course not. It's uh, just a little damp out here, that's all. Uh, Lily, Mark? And she, if she had confiscated Mark's 
whatever it is, she gives it back. Why don't you go inside? I'll catch up to you. Very well. Moth goes inside and begins to work on the thing. You'll be able to finish it before uh, I... Be, you'll be in a, you'll be able to finish it by the time the sun is completely down past the horizon. Okay. And uh, uh, Tanawe, what are you doing? She's going to sit down on the step next to Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi swallows it and says, it, "You can go in." I will. I just want you to know, and this is just a guess. But I I lost someone I loved once. The situation wasn't the same. He sobs loudly. But tries very quickly to stifle it. All I'm saying is this the, the circumstances are different, but if you need she looks so awkward, someone to talk to I may be able to empathize. Go inside. I will. Uh, you may want a bit more privacy, though, um, than sitting out here where anyone can stumble across you. Perhaps I could show you to my old room? You'd be able to have some peace and quiet there? To collect your thoughts, I mean. He nods weakly and takes a deep breath, quickly wiping under his face, and you can tell he's biting his lip on the inside. She's just going to um, quietly usher him inside, uh, take him past the main room, uh, and just into where her room used to be. Um, Hero gives his dad a worried and apologetic look as they pass, but doesn't say anything. Hideyoshi carefully makes eye contact with nobody. Uh, as soon as Hideyoshi is safely tucked away and basically Tanawe says, you can let us know if you need anything, but we'll, all being well, we'll leave you be until we hear from you, all right? He nods it silently. She is going to come back through and uh, quietly stand next to sort of stand next to Hiro and quietly say to him, "Give him time. He's suffered a very deep heartbreak." I know. Uh, Your family immediately having someone they recognize again begins hounding you more. <laughs> she actually just starts laughing happily and just hugging them. Uh, right, have you all? Introduce yourselves. We have gone through that um, process, Itzel says. And Hiro? The, uh, Hiro, Yura, have you, have you told them? There's no easy way to say it, so no. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the Avatar. She just points at Hiro and Yura, Avatar. Yes. Uh, um... Mark was about to do it. <laughs> All right. Ma, Pa, Nana. Just her. Hero and Yura here, they are both the Avatar. Um, they're all sort of staring slack-jawed. Uh, um, I don't even know where to start. She kind of looks helplessly at um, Shiro. Shiro uh, points at his throat and shrugs. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Katsuro says, So when I was born, you guys didn't abandon me? No. No, no, no. They definitely didn't. They, they were so looking forward to meeting you. He looks a bit bashful and self-conscious. Oh. I... Um. I, I kept quiet for three years because I... Uh, 
she kind of suddenly looks very self-conscious and glances around at the others. It, it's quite a lot. Do you think perhaps I could tell the three of you later in private? Ulana nods and says, we've waited this long, we can wait a little longer. <laughs> the... Although I think I might understand uh, just a bit. Yes, um, you... Being less naive than me, you possibly could have seen that it would not go as well as I would have hoped on the mainland, but anyway, the important thing is that Shiro and Katsu, Katsuro are alive and well, and... With you again? Yes. And I was Although very... Although you seem to have gotten caught in a web of terribly important people, haven't you? Uh, not intentionally. But... Very few people who ought to be involved with, the, with how the world works get involved deliberately. <laughs> That's true. Um, it's for this reason that as much as I wish I could stay and be home again, I need to keep traveling with Hero and Yura and the others. We need to find a way to help them bring balance to the world again. And our soul, because, you know, it's split in half. Yes. It, it's something that I believe... I, I don't know how much help I can be, but I don't feel it would be right for me to walk away at this point, so... I have made it my duty to protect the avatars. Yolan walks over to you, towers over you for just a moment, mm -hmm. then just pulls you close and says, I'm so proud of you. She hugs back. I love you, Pa. I love you too. I'm going to come home one day, you know. I, I know. I still want to train in the way of the warrior and become a dragon rider one day. If if the masters will have me. I want to ride a dragon. <laughs> um, Huana's going to walk over and smack Hero upside the head. Ah! Well, uh, um, <clears throat> Curse cut short. Tanawe actually knows. looks um, a cross between upset and offended at Hero's bluntness. And she just sort of buries her face in her dad's shoulder. You couldn't know better, but still, have a little respect for the original firebenders. I do respect them. That's why I want to... I'll stop talking. That would probably be for the best. Of all the rich boys to get their voices taken away, the wrong one. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean I'd give your voice for Shiro's. Hero turns red. I made you suck. Suck. Um, Tanawe has extricated herself from Yolan and is, um, Gently hugging Shiro and stroking his cheek. Shiro looks sad when the topic of his voice is brought up, uh, but holds you back. Uh. It's all right, Shiro. You have beautiful hands, remember? A musician's, a musician's hands, an artist's hands. You speak beautifully with your hands. He nods softly. I speak with my hands, too. Yes, and very well you do too, Kiahi. Wait, doesn't Kiahi, like, signal in Morse code rather than... Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, but she does but use her hands use to do that. Hands. I guess. And she's, um... She's going to uh, sign... To, uh, they're, they're still learning, like, 
I don't know if this actually came up, but Tanawe, when they were in the capital, uh, Tanawe went to a library and checked out a book on sign language. Which and is, has it, now stolen that book. Well, see. Now, well, you see. <laughs> well, well, she you checked see. it out, and then she, when she came out, there was all this hullabaloo going on in the streets about how the Fire Lord had been dethroned and Fire Lord Lu Ten had been crowned instead. And she's like, oh shit goes back to find the others and promptly finds that they're leaving, at which point she doesn't really have time to take the book back. And she's like, okay, well, I guess I'll take it back eventually, but it's going to have to be low on the priority list. So, yeah, she kind well, of um, low-key stole a, a, a sign language <laughs> book. Um, if Hiro knew about this, he would be very excited about it and you, um, read the book whenever um, Hiahi and Shiro work. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Yeah, I think I think Tanawe could would have mentioned it to everyone at some point. It's like, so we got this book now, because she she wants to teach you know because he, he Shiro can't do the Morse code like Kiahi does because he's not a firebender, so she's teaching him the sign language and is kind of making it available to the others to learn it as well, so they can all talk to him, and she's kind of been trying to teach uh, Katsuro as well, and she signs to him. Um, she signs. Um, is talking with hands fun. And Katsuro signs back, yes. She, <laughs> she grins and ruffles his hair. He giggles softly. Beware the man who speaks in hands. Yeah. <laughs> So, beyond catching up with the family, is there anything you guys would like to do on screen over the night? Uh, my thing. Oh, yes, yes. Um, As the sun goes down, you are able to complete it. Yay! Uh, uh, Mark will, after completing it, walk over to Hero. Oh, no. Oh! With, with, with a st what looks like a six-foot-long stick of bamboo. And uh, I Mark, you sweetheart. You poor misguided uh, sweetheart. What's this? Actually, just a stick. Just <laughs> 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 spends hours and ten yards for a stick of bamboo. That's true. Actually, yeah. just a stick. It's just she, a stick. She she like blows in like a small vent at the top, and the wings uh pop out, and she's made you a bamboo glider. Hero's eyes go wide, and he's like, "Holy shit! Thank you so much." Language. Sorry, but I'm just so excited. Sorry, I'm just so fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he he hugs Mach tight, and then he looks embarrassed, and then he backs up and he goes, "Uh, sorry, I told you to shut up earlier." Mach is like at frozen at being touched. Is just like ah, unsure what to do. Blue screen. Okay, yeah, but, like, yeah, but... <laughs> then he lets go, and then he goes, Uh, sorry I told you to shut up earlier. I shouldn't have done that. I was in a bad mood, but I shouldn't have done that. And thank you! <laughs> Mock looks like blue screen of death and is currently, currently rebooting. <laughs> oh, no. So, Hero, you now have a glider. You don't know how to use it, but you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Hero, That's fine. He can just ask Mock. Um, Hero holds it over his head and attempts to use it. In the house? No, a little bit. In the house. I was originally gonna say no, but but he would. He's a fucking dumbass. Uh, when you do that, Yolan just uh, very gently grabs you, lifts you up, and throws you out. <laughs> Mock will follow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just imagining Yola, Yolan while throwing Hero out being, Go! Fly! <laughs> Look, between Mark and uh, Yora, Mark's the... I mean, not Mark. Uh, Hero and Yora, Hero's the the one that when he leaves, shit happens. So she's going to follow Hero. Oh my god. Hero's the one that he, she's going to get the most results out of because he's complete trash and often hurts himself. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> also, Mock, you know how the mechanics of gliding work, but you wouldn't know how to airbend it properly. Oh, no, no, no. That, yeah, airbending <laughs> not by any means because she can't airbend. Oh, and uh, you as... all keep hearing roll, bump, roll, bump uh, as, uh, uh, as uh, um, uh, Ning is trying to meditate. I'm sure Mock could fix that. She's just preoccupied with Hero at the moment. Um, as Hero is being physically thrown out of the house, while he's in the air from being thrown, he attempts to use the glider and presumably crashes, unless you make me roll. Uh, yeah, he, he, no, you, you crash. You, you didn't get... He didn't, like, throw you out in such a way that the glider would be very useful. However... He, just he's gonna of, try anyway. Just, just kind of a gentle... A gentle you shove crash. out the door. Yeah. However, uh... There are two air nomads on the island. Are they also One cliffs? Of the, uh, One of whom doesn't hate your guts. Yeah, and uh, I, I don't remember if there are cliffs or not, but there are at least high places. Yeah, gonna, so... Oh, yes, there are cliffs, because there's a big freaking hole in the middle of the island. Yeah, so, like, you could literally just, like, not even remember the nomads are there, and just be like, I'm gonna jump off a cliff! Whee! <laughs> and then die. So, wait, did the ner did uh, did Tansen and Sonam stay with uh, the Air Bisons? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Sonam did. Tenzin is, uh, you'd have a, you'd have a little trouble finding him, but not too much because he is just schmoozing with the locals. Oh God! Like I not in a skeezy way, but in a he's just naturally good with people way. Aww. Having 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 witnessed this, Tanawe will have gone. Okay, I think we can trust this one. He he can be left on his own. The others, um, no. Does does Hero see him like when he's outside? I uh, I'll say that you're eventually able to find him, just because there are a lot of younger Interasuns, <laughs> Sun Warriors. Uh, excuse me, Sun Warriors. Sorry. Uh. Um. Uh, a lot of sun warriors, just uh, younger sun warriors who are curious about the outside world, hanging around and listening to his stories. Um, Hero runs up to him from out of nowhere and is like, I found a glider! Can you teach me to use it? Mock is, like, following behind. Found. He blinks, and it's clearly not a regulation glider, but he grins widely and says, Yes! Yes, Aww. I can! Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> Come with me, and he grabs Hero's hand and drags him away, and you are going to get gliding lessons. He is almost yes! as enthusiastic about this as Hero is. This bodes well! <laughs> <laughs> there is a reason that uh, Tenzin is sort of, uh, uh, sort of Sonam's second in command. Because she needs someone who is actually good with people. And because he's actually good with people. <laughs> Quack. Oh, hold on. I just noticed in the reaction chat. <laughs> Hero is going to fucking cross out fucking die. You're gonna Come. learn how to use a, your glider the way birds learn how to fly. He's gonna throw you off a cliff. Yeah, he's gonna, Hero's gonna be like, okay, so what do I do first? Well, look off in that direction. Okay, shove! It just pushes you off a cliff. <laughs> uh, actually, yes, that's pretty much exactly what happens. Oh my god! Um, actually, when, like, Hero goes tumbling off the cliff, Mox is gonna, like, look over the edge. Oh. And then step off the cliff. Mock! What the hell? And he jumps down with his own glider, it catches Mock. No, no, her arms are like outspread and her wingsuit has like caught oh, the right. air. I forgot you have the gliding ability. Yes, I do. Mock has a fucking wingsuit. Yeah, her like, I can't remember what it's called, but her outfit, like she like hooks two like hoops out of waist and then spreads out and she basically gets like a wingsuit. She can't fly, she can just glide. So it's basically falling with style. He dives down, ready to catch you, and then it looks just astonished as your wingsuit opens. And he's just gliding alongside you, and using his airbender to keep Hero from hitting the water too hard. 
<laughs> you, got these, you got these two that are grace, gracefully gliding majestically, and then there's Hero, who's just plummeting like a rock. Who's just like, goof! <laughs> Ma- Splash! N- Ning's just basically just, just, just floating on the air like a feather. Yeah, she's, she, that, just, she doesn't like, even have full like control of it. It's just that she's not gonna fall. He just I... gawks at you and says, "I have never seen a non-airbender do that." Hero pokes his head out of the water, spits, um, spits out a tiny fish. Um, and he, <laughs> did he actually like shove Hero off the cliff? Yes, yes. he did. What the fuck was that? At this that point, I feel like Mark would one. land on him. What? I feel that like at this point, Mark would land on him. <laughs> Mark, Mark belly flops in the water, and, uh... Um, she just I'm lands in the say, water, and the water just slowly envelops her as she sinks. And Tenzin actually lands lightly balancing on, um, on a, an air scooter and says, That, hero was lesson one. That what was, was the point of that lesson? <laughs> to test your abilities. You suck. I don't. <laughs> Mark surfaces. I... What was that? Mark surfaces and just like spits out the water. It probably lands on the back of Hero's head. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you, you do suck. You objectively suck, but that's fine. <laughs> Sucking's the first step to not sucking. I don't suck. I blow. I, I... You suck, just like I sucked the first time I tried to glide. You know... I've been training for, like, 12 years. Yeah, but you haven't been training at gliding. Okay. So come on, let's get back up there. Wait, question. Did the impact with the water cause the glider to break? No, no, it did not. Okay, it's just like, I'm gonna learn how to fly! <laughs> Glad it's broken. Aww. Lessons two to seven are basically the same thing where he just gets pushed off the cliff. Yep. But... No, lesson two is repairing the glider. Three through seven is being pushed off the cliff. They're built better than that. Yeah. Well, reminder, I built it. Uh, good point. <laughs> but still, you... if you wanted to build it better, you should have used slow and steady. And yeah, but she really wanted to get it to him because he's been, like, really begging for it. True. And she, and she kind of wants to be on his good side right now. <laughs> and, uh, lesson two will be getting you to jump off on your own. <laughs> Until that, we'll stick with lesson one. <laughs> Hero is just aghast. I will keep pushing you off the cliff until you jump off. <laughs> Lesson three is jumping off head first. Um, Hero says, um, Hero pauses for a moment and then he goes, Can sometime can you teach me how to do that air scooter thing? Because I tried that and I kept falling on my face. Uh, that's just balance. Uh, balance and uh, if you want to cheat a little, it, keeping uh, a little bit of a cyclone around yourself to keep you sucked up onto the top of it. Oh, shit, I didn't try that. Balance yeah, that's why you fell off. Well, you just said it's cheating. Yeah, but... Uh, you know, air nomads are kind of all about cheating. See, that's the thing about airbending that's so different from a lot of other kind of bendings. It's all about going around your problems instead of trying to push through them. Almost as if she's never heard this Marco reach into her still wet suit. Because they're still in the water, pull out a scroll and begin to write on it. It obviously doesn't work. Mock, mock, let's wait, okay? <laughs> yeah, let's get out of the water. And it, he just, it, he dissipates the air scooter, but just sort of skips along the water, similar to Aang running along it away from the Yunagi. And is there anything else anyone would want to do? Well, I suppose from here they're just going to be off-screen teaching him to glide. Yep. Yeah, he is going to find somewhere to stare at the stars for a bit before falling asleep. Mm-hmm. If nobody else wants to do anything, uh, then we'll call this well, session for tonight. Oh, okay. okay. 
What? No, no, no. If nobody else wants to do anything, but it sounded like some people wanted to do something. Well, I was maybe going to have Tanawe notice that Ning's uh, metal ball is doing the thing where it's not oh, a yeah. proper ball anymore. Yeah, it's got a good-sized dent in it. Um, she is going to, you know, just in a convenient sort of stopping point. Sorry, she, she's like, you know, she's going to spend a lot of time with her family and whatnot, but at some point she is going to sort of notice the the noise, the drrr, thunk, drrr, thunk, and come over and sit next to Ning. Uh, Ning? Hmm? What happened to your meditation ball? Well, um, I tried to follow that, um, that little girl in, on the boat. Oh, the one in the metal and, suit? Yes. And they shot a bomb at me, and, well, I acted fast, so it exploded on my backpack and the ball. Oh. Is every, is, uh, have other things in your backpack been damaged? Do you need anything replaced? Uh, oh, uh, if we can go to the market tomorrow, I'll probably replace stuff then. Mm. She is, I mean, can Tanawe examine the bowl? Yes, you may. Feel free to roll, uh... I have no idea what would be a decent roll for this. Uh, hmm. Let me take a look. I guess roll intuition. Okay. Sorry, my pages are... For some reason, uh, Firefox is being really weird. Uh, it's alright. Take as much time as you need. Oh, and now it's not closing. Okay. Smarty, that building is a penis. No, it's the Gherkin. <laughs> It's the gherkin. I mean, yeah, it's that too, but it's called the gherkin. I don't know why. Because it's a gherkin. It's gherkin shaped. When I read that, I heard I read it as jerking, jerking. <laughs> it's, the, it's the jerking penis. <laughs> oh my god! You're all grounded. I mean, we did have a giant conversation about sucking. <laughs> I got a I'm nine. Wow. Ground me if you're not here. He, okay. Uh, yeah, well. yeah, you don't know either. She just kind of looks confused. It's hmm. Well, maybe we can get the dent, the dent dinged out. Take it to a a smith of some kind. I don't. I don't want it to break. Oh, well, that's fair, I suppose. Well, it still kind of rolls, at least. Maybe Mark can fix it. No. always not going to suggest that. <laughs> Mark can apply liberal amounts of duct tape to it until it's just no. a bottle of duct tape. She'd, she'd make some kind of like a, epoxy-esque thing and no. fill the hole. We're still not... No, we're still not letting her, though. It, it, will, it will not occur to... Basically, it, it, Ning has said, I do not want this to break, so it is not occurring to Tanawe to give it to the person who's Inventions are generally experimental. Mm -hmm. Fair. Um, it's it's not really working for me. She places it back down gently. Uh, well, it's not a priority, but maybe we can figure something out. Mm -hmm. How big is the dent? I'll say it's not like dented inside out to but it is big enough that any sort of rolling would be quite awkward. I'll get him with it. And it's not like the metal's been taken off. It's more displaced. Nah, it's, it's displaced. Yeah. How do you make it roll, anyway? Um, it's magic. Well, <laughs> if you make... Magic. Oh, yeah. I assumed that maybe there was earth inside it. 
Uh, no, there's absolutely no elf inside it. Well, if it's magic, where did it come from? Well, it's been passed down for as many generations as our family uh, knows of. Can I roll to... I'm guessing it isn't, but this is the first thing Tanawe would think of. Can Tanawe um, try and see... It's, it's called the Fallen Star. The Fallen Star? It's from Spain! It, it didn't come from the spirit world, perhaps, did it? I... I don't know, but that could be an explanation. Well, at any rate, if you can make it roll around by magic, could you make it roll so that it avoids the dent? Like, and she kind of manually rolls it so that it always stays on the smooth side? It's You can do that, but doing it, gravity is working against you. Uh, Ning will actually attempt that. You are able to do it. It involves a little more focus than you're used to. If it's a star, have you ever tried levitating it? Oh, it's... It's, uh... It's metal. Yes, but it's magic. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's magic. Um... Well, you say magic. No. Uh, my guess is still some kind of spiritual essence, perhaps. Yeah, but... Isn't that still magic? Oh, it depends on your definition, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I mean, I haven't really, um, but I guess I could try it. No, I'm... Uh, you... Sorry. Yeah, Tanawi just says, oh, I'm just curious. I've never seen anything like this before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You may roll either focus or bending. Let me have a look. Yes, I am definitely rolling focus. Do I get a meditation bonus? Yes. Uh, <sighs> you are actually able to levitate it. Huh. It's never done this before. Well, in doing so, you can feel your muscles sort of twitching as you do it. Tanawe raises her eyebrows and looks vaguely surprised. Well, have you tried to levitate it before? Mm, well, no. Usually... Well, usually it's... When... Um, some people in my family and sometimes strangers, um, very rarely, uh, meditate. We do a special kind of meditation that makes it roll. Huh. So, I don't think we've really tried before. Perhaps there are other things you could do with it as well. You never do know unless you try. That is true. I do wonder why Sweat reacts to some people. Can... can I try? Seems only to be... A, well, yeah, you can try. But you said it only seems to be, what, earthbenders? Uh, yeah. Are you sure there's... And only some. Are... Are you sure there's no earth inside this? I am. Wait. This... It is notably... Okay, I, I'll uh, double check. Uh, it's notably I mean... a very dull rock metal. She kind of tings her fingernail against it. And given the path this conversation has taken, can Kanawe Kano... can start connecting some dots? Yeah. Ding will uh, check if there's earth inside of it. I'm not I sure should... what kind of role that would be, do you know? Uh, I think percep 
uh, observation with uh, yeah, seismic sense. Yeah, that sounds uh, good. There isn't Earth inside of it. Earth is it. It's Earth. What? It's different Earth, but it's Earth. Maybe purified is the right word, or condensed, or mixed with something else, but it's Earth. Um, Ning will hand the, uh, the fallen star over to Tanawe. Tanawe um, takes it and places it on the ground, and does look back at Ning and say, so you're sure there's not earth in it? It mm, it's not uh Ning uh, fetches a rock from outside telekinetically. It's not like Earth. It's different. But it's similar. Well, I mean, I guess metal comes from the earth. Not all metal. I mean, you said this one is a fallen star. Maybe this one came so from I the sky? I guess it doesn't come from the earth. It... That would certainly explain the name. Well, it's only a hunch. I mean... It could be called that for any number of reasons. Maybe it used to be brighter. Yeah. But... Uh, if Tanawi wants an all instructor on the specific mode of meditation, which involves... Uh, some things that might be are uh, reminiscent of how bending works. Uh, can Tanawe notice... very subtly. Can Tanawe notice that this is kind of bending-esque? Roll lore, but probably. 21. Yes. Yes, you can. Ah... Uh. Ning, this meditation technique, it seems a lot like, well, at least a bit like bending. It's like the mental aspects of bending uh, with less focus on the physical movements. I, I mean, it, it involves, it involves focus, it involves clearing the mind, it involves control of the object. I, I mean, I'm no earthbender, obviously, but... It seems like you're earthbending this. That it doesn't make sense. Well, no, because it's metal, but... But didn't that girl bend metal? Wait. Well... <sighs> she... I mean, she obviously did. Maybe but she's the one who bent this thing out of shape. I figured it was the blast. It might have been. It also might mm. have been her metal bending. Metal bending. You know, we're probably going to see her again. If she's really fixated on coming after Lumpy. Mm -hmm. Maybe when she does we should try and ask way, her some questions. Way, way off in the distance you hear, I heard that! <laughs> <laughs> you probably should. Um, Easier said than done, of course. She seems cranky. Yes. More cranky than Hero on a bad day. More cranky than me on a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, it, it's uh, getting late, so I'm going to go and... Yeah. Uh, Maybe tell Tichiro, uh, tell, tell Katsuru a bad time story. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to find a place to lay down as well. But I'll have a think. Thank you. Uh, not at all. 
it's really is fascinating. And uh, she claps Ning on the shoulder and then goes to... She, she wants to basically go and hang out with Katsuro, but also with her family as well. Presumably, Katsuro is still, you know, getting to know her family. Yep. And uh, with that, I will call the session. So uh, thank damn. you. Sorry. Quick, quick. Thank you. Poke, poke. Yeah, I wasn't trying to say anything. I was just. Okay. Thank you all for playing with me. Thank you, uh, everyone, for listening. And thank you, Dally, very much for returning to us and for uh, streaming and recording. It is good to be back. And uh, possibly when we start off next week, we can have whatever Hero was going to do with Morrow. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Take care and good night. Bye, everyone.